everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna bring you along with me as I go through my morning routine and setting myself up for being productive or as productive as I can be for the day. And having a consistent routine each day that not only I can expect each morning but also that I look forward to in the morning really helps me to just feel the most balanced. So we like to make sure the kitchen and that is cleaned up at night for when we wake up in the morning, but I'm just putting some dishes away to tidy up a bit first this morning. This morning I'm making myself an iced matcha latte. I love matcha, love matcha lattes, and um, it's really tasty when it's iced. So I'm just taking my uh, matcha powder here, this is by Do Matcha, and I'm just gonna whisk that together with a little bit of warm water until there's no clumps left. Then I'm gonna add some ice and some oat milk to a glass and uh, stir together the matcha. And I really love oat milk in matcha lattes because um, it just has a really nice, kind of naturally sweet taste that I really like. So next I'm jumping into the next part of my morning routine and that is journaling, which many of you know that I do because I've talked about this and I've shared this in various videos. So I actually have a whole video on how to get started with journaling if this is something that you would like to do in your own life. Um, but basically for me, it's a way to clear my thoughts before I start my day and to just you know express myself. Sometimes I'll even jot down um, what will make me feel my best to get done for the day separate from my to-do list which I will talk about um, in a few minutes but uh, just yeah journaling really helps me to feel good mentally and emotionally and again it's part of that routine uh, each morning that's so necessary for me this is my brand new journal that I just got a few days ago and I love it journaling is such a big part of my life and I mean, I'll do it at different times of the day. Sometimes I'll journal in the evening, but the morning is just definitely one of my favorite times to journal. But anyways, just got this journal. I got it from Staples Business Depot. It's nice because it's very thick, so there's lots of pages in here for writing in. Making the bed is also very, very key. I make it every single morning. And again, it's that element of being kind of in a tidy space or you know, working in one, especially for those of you like me that work from home. So I'm now gonna hop in the shower and freshen up for the day. So I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of some morning skincare now that I'm out of the shower before I start the rest of my day. I have here um, a nice serum by Skin Essence Organics. I've used their Neroli serum actually many times before over the years. I love their Neroli serum, really good for dry skin. But lately I'm loving just their straight up rosehip seed oil, which is so nice, it's gentle, it's, it, my skin just loves it. And a big, huge thank you to Skin Essence for sponsoring today's video. All the products by Skin Essence are certified organic they don't use any fillers whatsoever and they come in these beautiful dark glass amber bottles and I do have a discount code for you if you want to check out their products I will leave that linked below so all I do is I just take a couple of pumps of the serum and I just massage it into my face that's a little damp for my shower I also have their e-cream. It's nice because it has a little bit of natural SPF in it, so it's good for like the summertime, but also because of the calendula flower extract, it kind of has a bit of a green pigment, which can offset redness a little bit. It's so nice to do almost a little bit of self-care in the morning, especially to start your day and to feel like, you know, you just feel good for the day and a little bit of skincare for just a quick moment uh, can really go a long way in helping you to just feel good and ready for the day. Here is my little outfit of the day. I've just got a really comfy dress on and I love putting t-shirts over top of my dresses. Sometimes I feel like it just um, changes the look a little bit if I'm not in the mood for wearing like spaghetti straps. You can just throw a little t-shirt on top. I love wearing dresses so easy in the summer. Nice and cool, breezy on a nice warm day. Getting properly ready in the morning, especially if you're someone who works from home like myself, um, you know, doing a little bit of skincare, do, putting on a little bit of makeup if you want to, or just doing your hair, getting dressed properly, just makes a big difference in my mood, I find, when I get ready 
for the day. Next is breakfast. So making sure that I eat enough uh, through the day, but also starting my day with enough fuel is key for energy and not feeling lethargic, obviously. So today I am making some protein oats and oatmeal is great for um, having a really nice balanced meal because you get those complex carbohydrates, you can load it up with extra protein, some healthy fats, all these things to really help to create that balanced meal for sustained energy in the morning. So I make protein oats by adding uh, some egg whites to a little bowl and I'll just whisk that together and then add it into the oatmeal once it's mostly done cooking. And this is honestly, it's like a little protein hack. Uh, that you can add to your oats. And I wanna be clear here that I'm not against eating whole eggs at all, I love eggs. It's just that the yolks are excluded here because it would affect the taste of your oatmeal, but the whites are tasteless and they give you that you know extra protein. So on top of my oatmeal, I'm adding some peanut butter, some raspberries, some hemp seeds, and some flax seeds as well. All right, so I'm just about to sit down and get started with some work, but first I'm filling up my reusable water bottle. I find I drink so much more water through the day when I fill this up rather than just using a glass of water. Um, staying hydrated is key for brain health and for energy, and even being just a little bit dehydrated can make us feel more tired and things like that. So I'm just sitting down now, it's that time of the morning where I'm going to sit down and uh, write out my to-do list and plan my day for today. And this is the most important part of my day when it comes to getting started with, um, you know, being productive <laughs> and getting things done. So I use Evernote and so it's all done online. Um, I get distracted really easily. I lose focus easily, I can get sidetracked really, really easily. So for me, having a daily to-do list that I can update and um, you know just go through what I need to get done for the day really, really helps me. Anyways, we have a very busy week this week because uh, we are moving in just a couple of days and we're getting married next weekend. And so between work and life stuff, there's there's a lot going on. So I'm just gonna get started with writing out my to-do list for the day. So I have been asked uh, quite a few times before how I use Evernote and how I plan my day and make my lists. So come on over, I'll give you a little inside look into how I kind of create my to-do list for the day and kind of plan my day. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you a quick run through of how I use Evernote. So uh, these are all of my notebooks and within these notebooks, there's like a bajillion different notes <laughs> depending on the notebook. Um, but my primary one is my to-do list. So this is my to-do list for today that I've just written out. Um, I always update the date at the top. So I've got that and then I've just uh, got my to-do list for today. So, um, yeah, I've got a bunch of random stuff to do today. I have some emails I need to respond to. I have to finish doing some filming today. I gotta go to the bank. That'll be fun. I got some phone calls to make today. Now, don't be fooled. I definitely do not always finish every single thing that's on my to-do list. I, you know, I give myself flexibility. I'll move things that I don't get done to the next day. But what I love about this is I can just check things off as I go, such a good feeling. I also find that breaking my tasks down into really small steps helps me to um, just, I find it a lot easier to get things done when I do that. Otherwise, if I'm too vague or too broad with a task, then um, I it's harder for me to do it. I'm gonna get started with just replying to some emails and such and that's what I'm going to do first. <sighs> Administrative tasks are probably my least favorite thing to do, but you gotta do it. 
All right, so I am gonna head out, run some errands, check some things off of my to-do list for today. It's a beautiful day out there. Thanks so much for watching today's video and for coming along with me on my little morning routine. And to Skin Essence again for partnering up with me. I will see you all in the next one.